What's going on guys, it's Andrew McFly. I probably should have done this video like a long time ago, but you know what, it's never too late. Well, today I'm going to be telling you guys my story, my journey, you know, everything throughout my life. Growing up, I was always the shortest kid in my class. Uh, it was very difficult because back then, when you're like a little kid, like bullying is a really big thing back then. Like when you're a little kid, you don't really have any censor. Uh, so you just speak what's on your mind. So I was definitely bullied a lot as a kid. And just growing up uh, overall, I was very obsessed with, you know, just, I guess, the art of dunking. So ever since I was a little kid, like, just jumping and grabbing the, the one of the monkey bars, you know, and imagine that I was dunking or something like that, or touching the top of the, the doorway, you know. So that's really, I've just always had an obsession over, over that. Now I'm gonna be getting into my high school basketball career. Um, I actually went to a very competitive high school uh, in terms of basketball. So, I mean, my school, they would do recruiting, they would recruit players to come play for the school. So they was really top-notch basketball school. And I was able to make the freshman team, JV and varsity. Um, you know, I was always the shortest on the team, always, you know, still was able to make the team even with all the bigger competition everything so at a young age when i would i was playing i realized i don't have the height but you know what else i do have i would focus on the positives which means work on my dribbling i'd be a strong dribbler uh, work on my shooting i'd be a very you know good shooter so in terms of other aspects of the game, passing, everything, I was good at. Just the one thing that I was lacking was the height. Now, uh, I was, I did it a different way. Some players, you know, when they recruit, they just go straight to varsity. Or they go on JV for, you know, a little bit, then they go right up to varsity. So I went through all three levels. I went to, to freshman, I went to sophomore, I mean uh, JV, I went to varsity, and when I tell you that I really had a hard time on varsity, when they have these kids that are recruited and stuff, they're there to play basketball, so it's kind of hard for the people that actually went through all those different levels um, to actually be good and get some playing time and you know grow as a player. So. It was my senior year of high school where I actually, uh, I quit the team. I quit the team. You know, I was, if you know, or if you don't know, um, the life of a student athlete is very, very difficult. Uh, you have practice every day, weight room every day. You have homework when you get home. Like, it's just, it's crazy, like, you know. And I was doing all these Navy SEAL workouts yeah, uh, busting my butt every single day, not seeing any playing time, really. So it was that point in my basketball career where I really just kind of, I just wanted to, to quit. I wanted to not pursue that anymore. I thought that wasn't my calling, you know, to be a basketball player. So I quit the team my senior year when I made, made it to varsity and, uh, you know, that was that. I just focused on my academics, uh, got accepted to college. Now I'll be talking about when and how I got into dunking and how I started doing all these events and stuff like that. I'll get into that right now. So um, I didn't get any looks for colleges and everything like that, but I still love the game of basketball. I still love, you know, dunking. I, at the time, my senior year, I was, you know, in the gym with my friends and as I was saying it's uh, kind of it's about who you surround yourself with the people that you your friends your surroundings everyone in your group it matters a lot I had friend a group of friends still into basketball but one particular friend he was 
very into dunking. So just being around him, watching him do dunks and, you know, watching the gym with all eyes on him and, you know, doing his dunks, I wanted to have that same feeling of all eyes on me, I guess you can, you can say. So, you know, I started jumping. I started, you know, trying to dunk the ball and I've not necessarily always had I've always had athletic ability but I I did work for it it's not all genetic um, I've spent many hours in the gym jumping uh, working on my technique for jumping you know different exercise whatever and there was a point where I realized that I can most likely dunk so I was grabbing ram I was you know trying to dunk off the handoff and there was one day in the gym where you know I just kept doing attempts and attempts miss 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 I missed so many times and then eventually one dunk actually went in and uh, of course went viral and from that day forward I just gained so much confidence in myself like I wanted to do more I I wanted to show people that I can do more so that's when I really started focusing on dunking and I saw how much exposure and how much people liked it you know I came to conclusion like you know what maybe this is my calling maybe this is what I should do maybe I'm not meant to play college even though I probably I probably could have uh, if I had if I played for the right school, maybe play for a D2 or a D3, I could have maybe played somewhere. But that, you know, life happens. You don't necessarily get to choose every time what you want to do. Uh, sometimes things just comes to you. And this whole dunking stuff, uh, it came to me. I realized this is, I like this. This is what I want to do. And eventually, over the years, I've expanded my dunk package you know uh, doing different variations of dunks when I really started blowing up on Instagram and realizing all the recognition that I'm getting uh, you know I me and my friend we really thought like you know I should be doing more than just Instagram like perhaps you know dunk contests dunk shows that's where I'm saying it's the people that you surround yourself with that really push you to, to you know be your best self and to actually go for it the hardest thing for me was to actually put my foot in the door and actually go for it I remember my first dunk contest you know I was scared out of my mind I'm going against the best dunkers in the world I'm going against Chris Staples remix uh, another great uh, jumper A.O. Jamal uh, Elijah Bonds like these are some of the top dunkers in the world and this is my first ever contest so it was really hard for me but what I would really suggest for you guys is to just throw yourself out there even if you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know if you're gonna do bad like it's okay the the biggest thing at the end of the day you can say like I did that you know I threw myself out there I I went to that event I, I showed out, I did the best that I could. You know, that's just what I went through. So I advise you guys to just get your foot out there. Go do it, you know. Uh, I'll be probably talking about later, you know, I'll talk about it right now. There's been contests where I couldn't make a dunk. Like, you know, and there's thousands of people watching me, like all eyes on me. You know, I'm the short guy, so everybody's like rooting for me. like. Like they want me to dunk, they want me they want to see me dunk, and there's been times where I couldn't I couldn't dunk. Like it was just I didn't have a good warm up, you know, and that affected me for the dunk contest, just getting in my own head. But you know what? What I've learned is that everything is a learning process. You know, you learn from your mistakes. Now I know before any show or any contest to make sure I get a really good warm up, you know. And at the, the, the con, not, it was a show where I was doing really bad. Um, before everyone was doing their warm ups, you know, their warm ups was like a between the legs dunk, 
or like you know 360s off the backboard cock back dunk like crazy dunks for just warm-ups they're just warming up and my warm-up you know is like a, a, a two-hand rim hang like you know it's not even a dunk like I it takes a lot for me to warm up because I'm a shorter dunker I'm, I can't you know I'm not like those bigger guys who can just get up there easy and, you know but like you gotta really take Humiliation is not always a bad thing. Like, I took this, you know, it was humiliating to me that I couldn't make a dunk in this dunk show, right? But I took that and I made it something like, I know now what I need to do in order to prepare, to prepare myself for these, you know, moments, for these events and stuff like that. So everything, it's just a learning process. You just take it, you, you run with it, and you just learn from your experience. Another thing, like, you know, now my status, I'm still trying to, I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm still working on it. Um, but you know what? When you know you're doing something right, you're gonna have haters or, you know, people that dislike you or try to discredit you along the way. But those people are always gonna come along. So just be prepared for that. But the way that I handle it is I kind of, in a way, just block out the haters, you know. There's some people that I respond to that are just like really, really bad. But most of the time I don't really like to uh, respond to anything hateful. Um, that's just something I've been growing up with, you know, through all this social media and everything like that. Bullying, everything. You know, I've had preparation for this. People will try to discredit me uh, all the time. Uh, I don't let that get to get to me. And even like it's funny, people will come to me, and they they won't they won't directly discredit me, but they'll try to say something to like make themselves feel better. Like I'll give you an example. Like somebody was like, "Can you can you all vert windmill?" I'm like, like they try to ask me things that they think I can't do just to try to make themselves feel better. So, I mean, if you're on this dunk journey, you're trying to dunk, you're trying to improve your vertical, keep going, don't care what anybody says, you know. I've had people tell me like, you'll never dunk a basketball in your life, like, you know. Like, I've completely blocked all that out and I just went for it. Everything, literally, uh, if you're obsessed with it, you're going to get it going to do it and you're gonna make it happen so through your dunk journey just keep going keep trying never give up if you're an older person you know what it's never too late to try to start dunking I get so many DMs uh, you know I, because I inspire people that like you know I want to dunk it's never too late so just just cuz whatever age you're at doesn't matter just go out there keep trying you're gonna get it eventually so uh, this is a little bit my story uh, about me. Hopefully you guys you thought this was entertaining. But um, stay tuned. I got some more heat content on the way. Uh, drop a comment, like, everything, subscribe. You already know what to do. It's Andrew McFly. Hopefully my experience helps you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Andrew McFly. I'm out.